Hey everybody, what's here to you, and welcome back to Let's Play Limbo. In the previous episode, uh, we did something that I can't remember off the top of my head because it's been a little while since we recorded that, but uh, in today's video, Carl the Pizza Man will continue on through his journey to deliver the pizza. Alright, uh, this pizza man will stay determined. He will get that tip, or something like that, even if it takes longer than 30 minutes to actually deliver the pizza. But anyway, that's not important right now. The important thing right now is that I need to explain something. This recording session, the big next big chunk of this game is no longer blind, and the reason for that is because uh, the original recording session corrupted, um, and no matter what I could do, no matter what I did, um, I just couldn't get the videos to work anymore. So there's really nothing I could do about that. Uh, so I'm gonna have to redo this recording session all over again. Hoorah! Don't bother going back that way because uh, there there's really nothing else over there. That's literally the way we came from. But what we can do now is we have a box we can carry, so carry the box. His name is QB. Uh, that's an awesome point to get the reference, by the way. <laughs> Even though I still haven't played that game. I will play it someday, just not today. You want to activate the elevator by going this way. And uh, the thing over here is like it's going to be like a little teeter-totter. Uh, so we could move the box over here, but that will make the platform go downward. Uh, so instead, what we want to do is... Uh, well, first of all, I'm going to move the box over there first before I do anything. Uh, so, we can go over here. And basically what you want to do is... Uh, not mess this up. I think I messed this up. Uh, yeah, we'll be fine. Uh, we want to activate the elevator, make it go downwards, uh, so that we can move uh, this platform over here and use this as a way to balance out this teeter-totter so that we can move the box up there. This took longer than I care to admit to figure out on the other on the original recording. The reason why I want to move this box over here is because when you activate the switch, this will cause a rope to come down, and we need the box to be able to reach it because it's a little bit too high for us. Uh, right, we need to activate this again. Gotta be quick about this, and then jump, and we should be good. Yay! <laughs> uh, one thing that I was already considering was kind of like doing fake blind reactions to this. Uh, make it seem like that I wasn't knowing, what, didn't know what I was doing, but that was a stupid and terrible idea. <laughs> uh, you want to activate that one first, and this one a little bit later. Uh, so that hopefully we'll have enough time to stack these boxes. It wasn't quite right, but whatever. And we're dead. Ouchie. That was nasty. <laughs> um, basically, the rule of thumb that I figured out on the original recording is wait for the corners of the crane to uh, reach the bo corners of the boxes and then move it over here. Uh, that should be enough space. Yep, it is. Yay! <laughs> and now we're outside of the scary demon area and into the forest again. Alright. Uh, you could go off onto the right, but that's going to lead to a deep, dark, scary area, and there's nothing, we, there's nothing we can do over there for now. Instead, what we want to do is go this way. And over here... Oh no! There's a bug! That that cannot do. We cannot have bugs anywhere near our pizza. And as the customer ordered a bug pizza, but I'm pretty sure they're not. they didn't. And I know this for a fact because I have the coupon next to me. Or receipt. Whatever. <laughs> uh, basically, what you want to do is that you want to sneak up on the bug. Because if you walk too fast, it's going to hear you coming. So, walk a little bit away and gently move the thumbstick. Don't know how you'd do this on the PC version. Is there a run button on the PC version? I don't know. I I don't know how to, how this game works on the, with the keyboard and mouse. Um, but when you're close enough to it, eventually we'll get there. The rate effect of the background is super pretty. This is such a pretty game. And then jump on the leg, and we missed. <laughs> Ready for editing. <laughs> Alright, so I'm not entirely sure if you need to do anything right here, but I just like you wiggling the thumbstick around. Um, because eventually. 
that will happen. And the leg will start twitching. Ugh, that's really creepy. This isn't Twitch, this is YouTube. Go Twitch over there. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm lame. Uh, but what isn't lame is we're now inside this factory area. So this must be where the pizza was made. Hmm. Intriguing. <laughs> so we want to go over here, come on top of the box, and go this way. Basically, we want that box uh, down to the lower level for something that's going to be coming up pretty soon. Uh, go over here. This, river, this thing right here looks like it should be in the foreground, but it's not. <laughs> Look, I'm Mario in a pipe. <laughs> Whee! So the timing for this thing over here is going to be a little bit weird, but basically what you want to do is that you want to have this over here, and then climb on top of this, go behind it, move it up against this thingy, and press the button. This will cause a tire-like thingy to appear. It also kind of looks like a donut. <laughs> this is officially a donut. I don't care what anyone says. And the donut is stuck. Well, reset the puzzle. <laughs> Uh, press the button again if you need to reset the puzzle. Probably goes without figure, or goes without saying, whatever the saying is. Uh, after the donut is on the conveyor belt, move it this way. That's not a conveyor belt, that's a not clear belt. <laughs> and you want to be careful about it, and we were probably moving too quick for that. I am an idiot. <laughs> uh, we want the we want to jump over the to the other side of this uh, machine before we make it go any further, and I completely forgot about that because I am dumb. <laughs> so that's basically what we want to do. Uh, I was really worried that was going to fall off, but thankfully it didn't. Doing that, and the donut will fall down to its deathly doom, and by deathly doom, I mean it'll move down over to the next part of the machine that we need to figure out. Because donuts, as you may or may not know, are usually found in a circular form. Well, that's a very stupid seg seg thing to say because of all the more like, rectangular and things like that. We're not talking about shapes for donuts, we're talking about this thing. Technically, this is a tire, but I'm calling it a donut because that's funnier. We want it on the top of the cliff, because this is a button right here, which will activate this thing. Uh, so that will roll around a couple times. Come on. Come on. Quickly roll. Come on! Okay. Whew! Uh, it's probably not gonna bounce around, roll around to the other side. And if you heard that, my computer's making noise because it's rude. Alright, take two. Roll the tire slash donut thingy to the top of the cliff. And we'll wait for it to activate. Um, and then... It'll come back around a second time, and we can use the box to destroy it. And that will cause the door to jam. And you gotta be quick about this. And we did it! Yay! Those square things in the background, they're totally pizza boxes. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says, those are totally pizza packs. That is canon in the world of Limbo. <laughs> so the next thing you want to do, uh, the reason why we're on this box is so that we can reach this platform and we can activate the switch. Or lever, or whatever you want to call the thing. I'm going to call it a lollipop because it looks like a lollipop. Lollipop, 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 so this right here can trick you because you're going to instinctively think uh, to move the box and jump up there to get to the ladder, but that tricks you because you need this box for something that's going to be coming up pretty soon. So move it down there real quick, and then ride the missing cog down towards your destiny. Eventually we'll get down there. Let's get down to business to deliver the pizza. Did I order tacos? When I asked for pepperoni, it's the saddest restaurant I've ever ate at. I don't know. <laughs> I am terrible at coming up with lyrics on the spot. That didn't even rhyme. All right, 
Alright, so what we want to do, move the second box over towards this area. Remember this is the button and quickly jump over here. This is the reason why you want the second box, so that you can reach this ledge. And I think this is a good place to call quits for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching this episode of Limbo, and until next time, I need to get rid of you. Oh yeah.